Okay, we're live. It's uh, 12 August 2021. Okay. Start that one. It's 12 August 2021. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there it is. Okay. Uh, it's 12 August 2021. And these two boxes, which you can't see, there. Maybe you can, I think you can see that one. I know you can't. That one arrived today over here. And I want to play a little ambient music. This is a. Oh boy, don't fall. Okay. Uh, let's see if I can just sit down here. This is a, a General Electric 3 25, 3 wow, 3 remember. This is a 3 6025B. There we go. And I got some ambience music. I can play this, so hit play. I'll just leave that here. Background music, and I got batteries here, and I didn't bring out a standard D battery, but this is a Zentner, Zentner D battery. This is a 1.5 volt battery, all right. And then I didn't bring out a standard B Energizer or, or Duracell, but that's also a dry cell. And since these came about, is pretty much the reason why I got these, so I can pay them on batteries as opposed to dry cells, which have a voltage drop, and these do not have a voltage drop. They give you 1.5 volts because it's actually 3.7 inside with a circuitry inside, and you can charge them, recharge them, and so on and so forth. Hard to explain all that, but anyway. Just, so without further ado, let me go to this big box here. This is the Sanyo, all right? And uh, it's a, I got this from Bai Japan, and I'll sell this. Uh, after I've serviced it and so on and so forth. This one needs a belt. I know the cassette deck does not work in it. And I had one of these 13 years ago and had two of this model. And I sold them both, okay? And uh, they're my scissors, so. All right, so let's just get to it. Right. Uh, this one is. Presently on, on Body Japan right now, there are three of these for sale, okay, and on Reverb, I think there's one, but they want three times as much as what I paid for this one, and this one I got because, like I said, I had these a long time ago, and for me it's about the sound, when it's hot out here, it's 98 degrees, oh gosh, okay. And then, uh, for those of you that are wanting to buy one, well, you can get them off of IE and then just pay the, you know, don't get the DHL shipping. That's three, that's three times the expensive. But, I mean, can you see how well this is packed? You know, for what it is, right? It's packed, you know, like that. And then, so here's, all right, so that's where we're going to put all this stuff. Put this here, right? So we got some, uh, you can read that. You know, it's got. It's from Japan. Okay, so. All right. So here's the box. It's you know again. Let you see it like that. In bubble wrap, in paper. And uh, that's the front of it right there. And let's just get to it. All right. Okay. And. Uh, say if they had a power cord or not. Can I carefully get rid of this box? I'll get the thing over here. Good shot. Oh, great. Now, some scissors. Scissors over here. So here's this.
put some padding over the knobs on the outside of this, uh, on the outside of the bubble wrap here. Let's see here. Okay. Like I said, I had two of these models and neither of them worked because back then I did not know how to repair these like I do today. So I already know that this takes an eight inch flat belt and I've got a bunch of eight inch flat belts. And it takes a couple of auxiliary belts and a big counter belt. But uh, this is nice, they packed it in plastic. Remember the other person that didn't pack it? Oh wow. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is very pretty. Yeah, and there's the power cord. Not that I need it right at the moment, but well, maybe I should use it. But I can't even see that camera because it's, uh, but here it is. Uh, yep, look pretty enough to you? I can't even see this. Let's see, I've got a, I have a cloth on this camera so I really can't see the viewfinder because it's hot out here and I don't want the camera to overheat. So there we go. Now I can see it. Okay, so there it is. Looks like that. It's like this. It's like that. Both antennas are brand new looking. Now, like I said, I already know the cassette deck doesn't work. Let me, uh, let me see if I can see it. I already had the power cord in the back. Where is it plugged in? There's it plugged in right there. Okay, great. So, and I've discovered that my little power pack is not a sine wave power pack, but it does work. So if it introduces any noise into the radio, that's because of this. But I don't have. Uh, so let's, let's so like that. You got that? Not on. Oh, here we go, FM, okay. So that's FM. individuals very soon. At this time, only certain immune compromised individuals may need an additional dose. This action is about ensuring our most vulnerable who may need a dose to enhance their biological responses to the vaccines are better protected against COVID-19. Walensky estimates that 3% of people in the U.S. would fall into this category. A meeting of the CDC's Vaccine Advisory Thanks. Committee is scheduled yeah. for Friday to review and to possibly recommend That's a booster so shot for this population. Ping Huang, NPR News. Starting tomorrow, the Department of Veterans Affairs expands its COVID vaccination order to virtually everyone who works at or visits VA hospitals. Staffers have until October 8th to show proof of vaccination or face removal. A similar order takes effect tomorrow with workers at Department of Health and Human Services. This is NPR News. Support for NPR comes from NPR stations. Other contributors include iDrive with remote PCs, providing remote access to PCs, Macs, and servers from anywhere, assisting those with... Question. 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 People how? Please remember when you said that you wanted to give me the world. If you're even thinking about renovating, 
you have to check out the HOWZ website and app. That's H-O-U-Z-Z. More than 65 million people are using HOWZ because it's the best tool out there to help your project turn out right. Why? When you hire a pro on HOWZ, they can show you in 3D using HOWZ tools exactly how your finished project will look. So for remodeling made easy, just go to HOWZ. That's H-O-U-Z-Z. And find a local pro to give you a great home in... Power switch doesn't work on this model because, as I know, the tech deck didn't complete its cycle and thus the power switch won't work properly. And that's all I'm going to say there because I go in here and I'll fix the cassette deck and then I'm sure the power switch will come back to working properly because with the Sanyo models on some of the older ones like this one, if the cassette deck didn't complete its cycle, it doesn't turn. Well, it's hard to explain. I'm sure that's the issue with that, so I'm going to stop here because I, already, I can see that the cassette deck, none of the reels work, but the radio works if you heard it, and I'm not going to sit here and play the radio all day because I have more to do, so I'm going to unplug that, all right. turn this off, I'm going to place this where, <laughs> well, I'll just place it here, I guess here, all right. actually, place it on this. Good. Here's that. And this is. It's got. I mean, it showed in the picture some marks, but I mean, this thing is really pretty. I mean, as far as you know, cosmetic-wise, it's pristine. This is clean and clear. It's got all its knobs. It's got the battery. Plus, here. Let's look at that briefly. Briefly, we got. Does it have the? Wow! Look at that. Brand new. Stuffing. It doesn't have the little plastic peels, but I do have a couple of them somewhere for the battery sleeves, for those of you that remember those. And this is, these are, these aren't really rusted, but, you know, they're, you can shine them up a little emery cloth. So, there it is. And this is like that. Okay, so that's a, all right, so, just don't knock that. Next, I was going to, well, I got this in, okay, that's what I want to do. I want to stop this one here. What did I do with the, oh, I had it, I put it in my pocket. That's what I do is play the video back and I'll find it in time here. Gosh darn it. Oh, there it is, call the ground. Okay, give me that. Oh, gosh, don't fall. Let's see here. This should be there. So I got the remote, so I'm going to stop the camera, because I'm doing a live video, and I'm going to say this again, so, okay, so it's, hello boys and girls, it's 15.07, 12 August 2021, now I'm going to uh, open up this, uh, I just opened up this, uh, whatever that is, uh, Sanyo MX960, it says Big Ben on the front. Turn back on my happy little ambience music. This is a uh, General Electric 3 uh, 3-6025B. Okay, so all right, so I wasn't gonna try and play it on battery. Put it back in your pocket. Put this in that pocket. Good. Now we get this big old thing here. So here's this big old thing. This is again. I got this from Dai Japan, okay. And I had one of these. I had that one like 13 years ago. This one I had one, and I sold it in 2015 or 2014. I can't remember exactly. And I sold it. Well, the price I paid for it is the price I sold it for way back when. So those of you who know what I sold it to you for, that's what I bought this for. Uh, and I've, I've had a lot of different boom boxes. I've had the M90s. I've had, uh, I've had the JVC M90, the Canaan C100F. I have the. I still have the National RX 6400 or the uh, RX A2, the, the you know the four piece part. Though that's really loud, but it's not very portable. Whereas this is a one piece model. 
But the reason why I got this is because this has an equalizer and it has, important to me, the uh, program search finder for finding the music between, anyway, finding the music on the cassette. Right? So without further ado, let me open this puppy up. Right? And, um, well, <laughs> I'm, still not, I'm just still not crazy about the, the controls being on the bottom and the speakers on top, but this is a very good sounding radio. And I think it sounds better. It sounds better. It may, uh, as far as loudness goes versus the M90, this one will get as loud as the M90, but I think this one sounds better than the M90 because it has the equalizer, whereas the M90 only has bass and treble and loudness. That's pretty much it. This one doesn't need loudness because it has the, uh, I, don't, I don't even know if it has loudness. I don't care if it does. So I don't really use loudness because uh, I'm going to find this at an appreciable volume. Both of these, by the way, this takes 10 new batteries, so does this one. And uh, someone may chide me for, chide, C-H-I-D-E, chide me for buying a radio that has to take 10 new batteries, but once again, because I have, because they have come out with these that are rechargeable, these, these put out 1.5 volts, uh, and they don't drop. They, they don't have a voltage drop across them as you play them. So once again, this is packed, you know, with this stuff on it, right? Put that over here, right? And this is packed with bubble wrap going around it and so on and so forth, so you can see it like that, right? And then, um, you just pretty much just get, so. All right, yeah, there you go. So, it's got a whole wall of this stuff going around it. So, and this one, I think it's been for sale elsewhere on eBay. And again, I don't know if there is any on these one by e anymore. And here's, this is very hard to come by. This particular one. This is considered a collector's model, and there is a upper model, which is the seven thousand or seven. 7200 and I think one of those is a Japanese domestic model only whereas the other one is the American model but I like this one better because this has uh, well this does have semi-automatic controls but uh, uh, anyway I, like I said I had one way back when the cassette deck didn't quite work properly and I didn't know how to repair it back then like I do now so this one here is advertised for the cassette deck working, so I hope to play cassettes in this one, okay, and uh, I'll make it. And again, this one is supposed to be looking rather pretty, as opposed to being, you know, rusty, dusty, and crusty, and all that. Looking good so far? Let me wrap this in cellophane also to help keep all the stuff on it, keep all the knobs from falling off and such. So I like that attention, de de attention to detail like that. in the back, just kind of stuck on here. Why don't I scissor it off? Well, I'm trying to keep, trying to preserve the size of this uh, bubble wrap here so that I can reuse it. There we go. It looks like that and it's got the complete antenna. So there's that. 
Oh, it's still plugged in. Good grief. Sticks a standard oval plug. Okay, we'll just remove that. So now, oh wait, why is the The door is okay because it's over to one side. Well, I know that the door is supposed to come off. Let's see here. Um, eject. That goes on sideways, right? There we go. All right, so now seeing the back of this, but let me just uh, get this box out of the way. And, uh, all right, so let's just kind of walk this up to this camera here. Let you see it nice and pretty up close. It looks like that, in case you've never seen one before. It doesn't have a sticker, but that's neither here nor there. It's got all the knobs that I can see. There's the back of it. And that and so it's a you know, I'm a big guy and it's, it's a big radio so now we know there now let's uh let's just get my car supply Volume is down, balance is in the middle. It's powered up. Let's see what we got. There's power. We should have AC. So now we put the radio. Put the radio. Some volume. It's on FM. I kept probing and then it clearly turned out that there was something else that happened before January 6th that people thought was really disturbing. And it was this, it was, um, this activity by Jeffrey Clark. So of course, in reaching out to him for comment, uh, he did provide comments to the New York times and other reporters who, who matched the story. And it said, his comment said, quote, all my official communications were consistent with law. There was a candid discussion of options and pros and cons with the president. It is unfortunate that those who are part of a privileged legal conversation would comment in public about such internal deliberations while also distorting any discussions. So he doesn't say the conversations about how the department could have
too far, I know, but it's fine. Oh, tape kind of working.
Hope you enjoyed. Bye. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. So I know what time it is. Well, boys and girls, it's what time is it? It is. Oh, come on. Fifteen twenty-six August. Fifteen twenty-six August twelve, and I've already opened. Uh, a couple of radios here have opened a, uh, well first I opened this thing here, right? You ever seen one of those before? Okay. Then I opened this just now, and of course the cassette deck plays and all that, right? Yeah, that's uh, one of those. And then, let's see, that's not going to fall. Now, let's see, where are your scissors go? There they are, great. This one arrived to me, or I mean, this one here arrived today, and uh, got in your pocket, okay, and uh, it's, got this from Body Japan, and like that. I had one of these before, and I bought it again because I'm looking for certain features in a radio, and this one, I still have question marks about this radio, but I, uh, because I can't remember, and this is somewhat hard to find. There is one on eBay right now, but I decided to get this one from Baiyi because the seller wrote about it in such a particular way that he would be more inclined to get it and get the one where the person didn't quite know much about his radio, even though he made a couple of videos about it, he still didn't know. That's like showing that it works. So, but this is a, a national RX 5280, somewhat small box, but that's where I'm going, even though I just got these two bigger boxes. Uh, but like I said, I wanted to review these two bigger boxes along with some other bigger boxes that I have uh, because that's what I like to do. Okay, and the only way to do that is buy the darn things. So how well is this thing packed? It's packed really well. There's a lot of tape. So I'm making a third video, but one Facebook video going on because it's really hard to start and stop that. It's kind of silly to do that to make one continuous shoot with the Facebook thing. Okay, there we go. So, and uh, yeah, so and, well, let me peel this off. There we go. Great. So this is a kind of a smallish model, but this is kind of where I'm gravitating towards. And this, uh, again, this is, anyway, it's a 5280. And the reason why this model to me is appealing is because of the music search on it. It's only one time, I think, but because it has music search for the cassette. 
that's what interests me because I still play cassettes even at this day and age of digital stuff and so on and so forth. And so I like my cassettes. I'm sorry, I don't like digital. I have CD players, but I only have to play the music that's only available on CDs. That's why I have them. And I have one turntable and I have one. So here this is. This is in. Uh, okay, the figure's a little clean there, but no issues. Yeah, look at that. That's nice to put a little piece of hoo ha around that. Great. And I didn't notice the power, I don't remember, it don't matter if it had the power cord or not, but it's still good. No power cord. Those need to be cleaned. No, no issues there. Okay. And uh, the one I had previously had world voltage. This one does not. Okay, so did this come with a power cord? Yeah, there it is. Here's the power cord. I mean, why do they wrap it up? I just, okay, there's. Oh, I know the Okay, so let me get my power supply without further ado. Let me play this. Okay. So, I got my pig in my pocket. Why do I got my pig in my pocket? So. This is a uh, radio. Doubts about the election. I keep wondering um, why didn't anyone in the Justice Department come forward? The Barbara Gates. The Barbara execute missions every day. Okay, so the radio works. Yay who? It's got a complete antenna with the you know black tip. Another reason why I got it is because it's complete. It's got the you know the battery cover right here. All right, there's that. Okay. Then let's check out the tape. So hit eject. Just needs a well. There we go. It needs a spring. Let's see if I can find a spring like that. Fast forward works. Rewind works. Play works. Cap stands turning. Great. Okay, so let's try my tape. Okay. I was playing A side, right? A side. Yep, here's this one. Must be winding with the other machine. Let's hit play. Hit stop. Hit play. Rewind. Now it has automatic TPS, which is tape program search. So it should. See the tape kind of rolling along. Here's a record view. Skip that song, but then this, who knows? Probably needs heads cleaned, I don't know. I had this thing all prepped to play a particular tape or the other radio, but that didn't happen. <laughs> Thank you. 
else I can tell you. It's just not like it. That's all I got. Okay. And I work on the tape program search myself to even clean up the heads or see. Maybe it's the tape because this tape isn't optimized for. But who knows? I don't know. Okay. Well, I bought this again for me because this one only takes. Oh. This takes AT, but well, who knows? Okay. Anyway, I like this model, kind of, sort of. Uh, yeah. We'll figure it out. I gotta go. Gotta stop. Put all this stuff away. This stuff out in the food hall and such. So, today we'll buy Hudson Burglar the thing that it is. We're signing off from YouTube for the third time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Okay, well, that's all. And I don't know how many people have watched this in Facebook. Hi, Facebook people. But, uh, so here's this. Okay. Turn that off. Unplug this. Unplug this and that. Oops. I'm going to pick up all this stuff. No. Don't lose that. Okay. So now it's off. Okay. Well, okay. I'm just going to say goodbye because we're going to take other pictures, but. Hope you all enjoyed. Yeah. Oh, okay. So now, yeah. So, yeah. Oh, so there's that. Add this thing. Some music. All right. So, hit. Where's it? Play. There's that. Here's the uh, whatever this thing is, the Big Ben, and then here's the little thing I just opened up, and then over here is this uh, big thing here, right? One of those. All right, so I'll say good day, bye bye. Thanks for watching. I'm okay. So, got a lot to clean up now. Good day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.